Hi, I'm Arslan Chowdhury, and I'm a student from Rikansan Secondary School. My name is Molly Kaglani, and I'm also a student at Rikansan Secondary School. And my name is Justin Anavasi, and I'm a student at T.L. Kennedy Secondary School. We have been at Sirica for the past month for the co-op placement program. Our new project was to build newer models out of the Fisher Technique Basic Engineering Kit. Each one of us had our own responsibilities based on our area of knowledge. Our slant was to design and build the different models. Justin worked on the multimedia aspect of the project, which included writing informative blogs and video editing. My task was to program the different models to function based on our needs using LabVIEW. Our main goal was to build mechanical models to better help students to understand how real-world mechanisms function. This was achieved through the use of Fisher Technique components, the MyStem board, and the National Instruments MyDAC, which are all available at Studica. We created four different models which incorporated mechanical and programming aspects. This is another model that we have built which replicates the mechanisms of a skewrift. This model utilizes a motor that is connected to a gearbox which works with other gears that are of 1 to 2 ratio. It also uses chain links which would be used to hold and carry the seats up and down the slope. It also consists of three switches. The switch in the far left causes the motor to rotate forward. The switch in the center causes the motor to rotate reverse. And the switch in the far right causes the motor to stop. The programming the scale of uses case structures in which an input from the user selects a case to execute. Now let's take a look at how the models are programmed to operate. As we mentioned earlier, we're using LabVIEW to code and control the models. As you can see in the VIs, there's the code itself and also a legend for all the input and output port numbers for that specific model. The programs for the remaining models use basic state machines in which states change based on the user input. We will be covering the components and functionality of our back vault model in the next video. So if you'd like to learn more, please feel free to tune into part 2 of this video series.